Hey, so one of the first classes you probably took when you entered an engineering or engineering technology curriculum were math and statistics, right? And honestly, some of these classes probably got you interested in engineering or engineering technology to a certain degree. So, hey, I can do that. I can figure it out. I want to put things together. I want to build things. So let's go for it, right? And this kind of is where the FE starts, right? The first topic that's laid out in the FE are mathematics and statistics. So what does that look like? Well, here, when we see this, it's really things like analytic geometry, uh, sing single variable calculus, vector operations, and statistics. And statistics covers a range of things, but each of these topics is what's going to be covered on the FE. And honestly, if you're looking at, at this and saying like, ah, I don't really like math, you know what? The good news is in 2020, the FE kind of condensed what the math really looked at. They cut out linear algebra, they cut out a, a few different things and really focused it on the fundamentals, which is great. Um, and it focuses your energy time as you study. So when you get into things like analytic geometry, I'd say definitely take a look at lines and functions and slopes and, and all those types of things. When you take a look at quadratic and quadratic formulas and how to um, find those, you know, the roots of an equation, those types of things. Okay. Um, definitely, definitely know your basic trig, right? The basic trig is, a, is foundational for things like statics. It's something that you have really, really kind of need to, to understand and get into. All right. And then like other things like area formulas or volume formulas, right? Or cones or conic sections or different things like that are all in the FE reference handbook. So know where they are, know how to use them. Okay. But again, analytic geometry is some of the basics, but as we advance from geometry, we get into things like calculus, right? Where we start with limits and, and anytime you start with calculus, you start with limits. So what's the limit of like one over N? Well, when we take a look at this, it's, you know, as N gets to infinity, you get one over infinity. What's that? Well, it's zero, right? And then it gets more applied to expand your limits. All right. And yes, the pun was intentional, but it gets applied in things like shear and moment diagrams where the height of the shear diagram is equal to the slope of the moment diagram, right? So the height of the shear diagram where the shear goes to zero, we have our maximum moment. In other words, we take the derivative of this moment function and we can get, you know, where the shear is zero is going to give us our maximum. So this is kind of cool. We take that calculus, we can apply it as well once we know how to do that single variable calculus, right? And then it keeps going with vector operations. Vector operations, super useful, definitely in your physics, your statics, your dynamics. This is something, I mean, it can be easy as vector addition, right? Where you're adding two vectors, whether that's uh, manually or it's using unit vectors. You have to be able to just add vectors, whether it's, you know, in the pure math sense or it gets into something like statics. And then similarly, what we're doing here is we're going to dot products, cross products. And I'd say know how to do these on your calculator, you know, like the FX Casio FX 115 or the TI 36 X pro, both of those have vector functions and know how to input the vectors and do these, do these math, you know, cross products, dot products um, on your calculator, right? It'll save you time on the exam. But hopefully, you know, vectors, you don't just see vectors and see math, you see vectors and bridges, right? Where each of these stays on the cable state bridge, right? Are vectors, they're force vectors that transfer the force from the bridge deck up to the supports and, you know, and down uh, to the foundation. So that's pretty cool. It takes it. And again, an applied example here, but um, as we keep going, the last topic was statistics and statistics cover so much. I mean, it, it, there's a lot here, right? There's um, yeah, everything from standard deviation to mean, median mode. Uh, there's, there's curve fitting regression. And, and really what I want you to get thinking of is when you look at, when you look at a standard bell curve, right? I mean, you can be on the failing side and I hope you're not there. You can be on the passing side, right? And I hope you get there. And I really, really hope that you get to the Excel side. Okay. So that as you learn your statistics, you are able to put all this together, synthesize it all and Excel when you take the FE. All right. So I hope this overview helps on the math section. If you have questions, feel free to drop a comment, but otherwise keep working hard and moving onward and upward.